part three of our simple maze game tutorial. So uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to move our player around the maze. So let me uh, run that, show you what it's going to look like when we're done. So you got our player here is the, the blue square, and the, the maze walls are the white squares. So I'm going to go down, right, down, left, right, left, down, and up. So we can move in four different directions. Now notice that the player moves a, a certain distance each time. It's not smooth movement. Um, we could do that, but for this one, we're just going to do it like this. Um, and I can move around the maze. So you notice how it's always aligned with the maze's grid. Um, so in each case, it's moving 24 px, uh, 24 pixels. And now you notice here, it doesn't stop at the walls. And that's going to be a different tutorial. Um, today, we just want to get it to move up and down, right and left. And then we'll talk about how to do the collisions uh, for this particular game. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Um, so we've got our maze, we've created our player. Um, so basically, very, very simple. Um, our player has four possible directions that uh, it can move in. Uh, it can either go up, it can go down, it can go left, or it can go right. Okay, so we're putting the, this code into the player class because it applies to the player, naturally. Um, so basically, we're defining go up. So we want the player, we want the player to go up. Self refers to the instance. Um, so self.goto. to go to is a turtle command. So which we inherited from the turtle modules uh, turtle uh, method, or turtle class, I should say. So we take the current x coordinate. So going up is basically y is a y coordinate. So our x coordinate doesn't change. So we're going to go to our current x coordinate. Notice the parentheses, which is really annoying, but that's the way it is. Uh, and then our y coordinate. So we take the current y coordinate and add 24. As we said, each block is 24 pixels uh, wide. So by the same token, going down, uh, the x coordinate stays the same, but the y coordinate is minus 24. Going left, now in this case, we're changing the x coordinate by minus 24, because left is minus, but the y coordinate stays the same. And going right uh, is plus on the x coordinate. Okay, so I think that's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. So that's that's the code inside the player class. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do uh, is tell the program, so when I push the arrow key to actually do that function. Okay, so do that for me. So down here, a little bit later in the code, I usually put this just outside the uh, main game loop. Uh, it's called keyboard binding. So we have to tell the turtle module uh, to listen, which that means it's going to listen to the keyboard if something happens. And then we tell it. So the turtle module on key. So when I press a certain key, um, I want the player in this case to go left. Okay, so player comes from our instance name. Okay, go left comes from our method name, which is right here. Okay, notice there are no parentheses, then comma, and in quotations, we put left, capital L-E-F-T. That means left arrow. So when I push the left arrow key on my keyboard, it will go left. Now, if you're the type of person that prefers W-A-S-D, um, left would be a lowercase a. Um, I like using the arrow keys, though, so I'm going to stick with that. So go left is the left arrow. Go right is the right arrow. Go up is the up arrow, and go down is the down arrow. That's it. So it's just keyboard bindings plus class methods to make the player move around. Okay, so if I run that one more time, you'll see it looks quite a bit like this. Okay. And again, like I said, we can go right through the walls right now. We'll fix that later. And I can go off the screen even if I wanted to. And so this, but uh, you get the idea. That is that. So stay tuned for more.